You know, none of us planned for this. We didn't expect this. There was no way we could have predicted that we would be in this situation that we're in right now. You can call it online teaching or virtual teaching or long distance teaching or simply teaching amid a giant pandemic that you simply didn't anticipate teaching. But the reality is many of us are teaching in a way that was different than what we thought we would do at the end of the school year. And this new way of teaching can feel really, really difficult. But teachers are proving over and over again that they are the heart of innovation. Teachers have proven that social distancing is about physical distance, but not relational distance. And they're showing yet again how they can build community even in a distance environment. And so even though they don't prefer video conferences, they're making those happen. And even though they're not used to teaching in an online format, they're making that happen as well. And even though the context is changing almost every single day, teachers are proving to be adaptable and innovative as they experiment and move forward. And I mention this because I work with pre-service teachers and many of them are concerned about the quality of instruction that they're delivering. They're worried about things like, is it okay to give handouts? And is it okay that I had a packet online? And what happens if a kid doesn't have internet at home? Or what happens if they don't have one-to-one -one computers? And these are big, hard questions that cut to the core of equity and fairness and justice. And yet, I used to rail against the worksheets and packets but then I realized something. Some kids love those. Some kids love to go through the progression of a handout or a worksheet and to work on those discrete skills and to see the progress and to know that they're getting better. They legitimately love packets. Some families love packets because of the structure that it provides. Meanwhile, some kids just need a ton of freedom and a ton of choice. Give them a genius hour for a full day and they will run with it. Give them a couple of project ideas and they will make it happen. Give them a choice menu and see them take flight. Let them have a wonder day and watch where their curiosity takes them. But other kids need handouts and structure and that's okay. Right now, some families need packets, some families need ideas, some families simply need time to be away and to process and to think and to go through trauma together and to grieve. Some of them have lost their jobs and they are worried about where that next paycheck will come from. Some are essential workers and they are scrambling to try to get childcare for their kids. And meanwhile, others have turned the kitchen table or the counter into their office because they now have to telecommute. People still use that term, telecommute. But anyway, they are working from home and they are struggling to make it happen. And that's okay. Some parents are eager to communicate and they want a ton of information. They want phone calls and emails and they wanna know what's going on. And other parents are overwhelmed. They are trying to keep it together while they care after an elderly parent in a vulnerable population and they are worried about what's going to happen and some of them are just lucky that they got up in the morning because they are feeling so depressed by what's going on. In other words, some parents are going to want to communicate more and some parents are going to want to communicate less and that's okay. Every child is different. Every family is different. Every teacher is different. And that's okay. But there are some universals that I think we can all agree on. I think we can agree that it's okay in this moment to make mistakes. It's okay to experiment and try again and iterate as a teacher and know that not every lesson will be perfect. And it's okay to give students some flexibility with deadlines and missing work and to assume the best out of them when they struggle when they can't find an assignment on Google Classroom or when they don't know how to upload an assignment in Google Classroom. And we can show parents some grace when they don't communicate with us or they don't answer an email. And we can show some teachers some grace when they make a mistake in that email that they send out. We are all doing our best. We are all trying our hardest and we are all collectively going through a really hard time. 
I think it's important to remember that parents are not the enemy. Students are not the enemy. Teachers are not the enemy. Worksheets are not the enemy. Long distance learning is not the enemy. The enemy is a global pandemic. And we're all fighting this thing together. And so it's okay to recognize that there is no one right way to make distance learning happen. We're all trying and experimenting and doing our best. So my thought is just show each other and ourselves some grace along the way.